Hello friends, this is Dr. Saurabh Patwardhan from Nandadi PG Teaching Institute, Sangli, Maharashtra, India. And in this interesting video, I'll be speaking about a case where we found a big bubble. So this is a routine case. The case surgeon is Dr. Seema Mane and the capsorexis is done and hydrodissection is planned. As the hydrodissection is in process, something interesting is observed. Just watch carefully. Good fluid wave there. Nice hydrodissection and oh, you can see that there is another golden ring and it's not hydrodelineation. Just watch carefully here. The cannula goes in and that's a big air bubble which goes behind the nucleus. As it's trapped inside, the surgeon decides to go ahead with trainee division and after dividing the nucleus, once it's tapped down, the bubble comes out. Is there a risk with this bubble? If you inject this bubble forcefully in the space between the nucleus and the capsule, there is always a risk that it might rupture the posterior capsule. So always avoid air in the syringe. As you can see, you can watch my video on safe hydrodissection. We get these bubbles quite often during femtocatrach surgery and uh, uh, you have to burp them out as you move on in the surgery. So just avoid any air in the cannula so that you don't get that forceful injection of not just air but also fluid during hydrodissection. As the surgeon moves on, another interesting finding is noted a flap, kind of a membrane is seen and definitely the surgeon is startled a bit. So it takes a moment to realize that uh, it is the free anterior capsular cap which forms after we do CCC and it's better to remove it at the same time. Uh, the retained capsular cap can get adhered to the endothelium and ca can cause damage so it's better to remove it at the start itself. For more such interesting videos do subscribe to my YouTube channel and put the notifications on. Thank you so much.